So hey Zane. Hmm. You know for months we've been telling viewers that we like our whiskey what? Neat. Which means we don't add water to our whiskey. But as of recent, we've been doing episodes where we've added water to our whiskey. Hell, we even did an episode where we added pop to our whiskey. Oh, well, look at that. To be honest, you know, water is added to whiskey on a pretty regular basis, actually, to make whiskey. Yeah, I mean, that's what they do at the distillery, is they add water. So today I thought we would talk about the what, when, and why you would add water to whiskey. Doesn't that sound great? No. Oh. But we're gonna do that. And we're gonna do that when? Right after this. Welcome to Whiskey Pop, my name is Jeff. And I'm Zane. And today we're gonna to talk about why Jeff adds water to whiskey. I don't add water to, well, I occasionally, but. Yeah, why or why not you would add we're water We're gonna to talk about why, when, and how, and what happens to whiskey when you add water to it. That's correct. Because you love water in your whiskey. There's plenty of people that water their whiskey. I don't know. You don't ever add water to your whiskey? I mean, no. We do do things that are interesting when we try to, you know. Do episodes or yeah, do Yeah, you know, or drop some water to And me. who knows, maybe by the end of this episode, we'll add interesting things to whiskey. I hope God, no. <laughs> Jeff's a dick. <laughs> oh, yes I am. <laughs> <laughs> but first, this is Whiskey Pop. So we have to talk about a particular whiskey we're gonna pop open today. This is a Stranahan's Distillery exclusive. Now, the only way you can yes. buy this whiskey is have to go to Stranahan's and pick it up. Now, our lovely producer, Mr. Rochester, David, well, picked this up is. for us while he was away a couple and, weeks ago. And, uh, yes, yeah, so we're super happy about that. I'm so super happy, I'm gonna pop it open. Oh my gosh, did you hear that? Now, tell now, us a little bit about this said special Well, whiskey. I don't want to say too much because we normally do that when? Friday on second pour. But we'll talk about it a little bit because this whiskey is a single malt whiskey. It's extra Anejo tequila cast. That means they finished it. In a tequila. In a tequila yeah. cast. Yeah, it's so, you know, it's probably gonna taste like, oh. But let's not forget also Stranahan's is one of our favorite whiskeys of all time, like cast strength. But I'm gonna be straight up front. I kind of hate tequila, but. I bet it's gonna change his mind today. But hey, let's pour this up first. Let's do it. Let's throw down. I like how you're pouring today. It's I'd, pretty cute. I like how I'm pouring today too. Yeah, look at you. Not spilling or anything. And of course, Mr. Producer. Since he did go and get the whiskey. Oh, well. We'd get him a little bit more. I would think that's only fair. Only fair, right? All right, let's, let's at least sniff it before we try it. And... <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know what I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> what, what do you think there, Zane? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Let's go ahead and try it. Okay. So anyway, we're gonna talk about adding water to your whiskey. We are, whiskey to water, or water to whiskey. Yeah, we're not talking about miracles here, we're just talking about adding a little this and that. Okay, so whiskey is made up primarily of corn, rye, and malted barley. Corn, rye, malted barley. Malted barley. O occasionally they add like wheat. Yeah. You get your wheated bourbons. Yes. Or occasionally they add like some really strange stuff like quinoa. I, I guess we quinoa that. But according to the U.S. government, yes, for bourbon in particular, the only thing you can add to it is water. Is water. That's the only thing you can add to it. So water is added into the whiskey as they're making the mash and all the ads are creating the whiskey. 
Later, the only thing they can add to that whiskey coming out of the barrel is water, which they will do to bring the proof down to whatever that they, they decide they, they want, want you to taste. The palate and, and yeah. so forth. So water yeah. is added in whiskey quite often. So it's not crazy with the idea that there's water added to whiskey. Well, yeah, I'm not sitting there going, I like my whiskey neat and there's no water in it because we know that it's got a lot of water in it. That was the whole point. Yeah. It's, and so when they're adding water to it, they're trying to get to that proof, that flavor right. for you. So it's supposed to be like that. Right. But things are a little different today too. We're talking about when whiskey was 40, 80. So 40% 80 proof. Yeah. That's whiskey. Anything lower than 40% is not considered whiskey. It's not whiskey yeah, anymore. It's not. I take a scotch and water, hold the scotch. Nowadays, we see things like cast strengths, mm -hmm. barrel proofs, barrel strengths. Those are all new ideas that didn't exist really so, previous to where we're at today. Yeah, people cutting the whiskey. Yeah, I mean, people would cut whiskey yeah. when it was 40 and 80. So when it was 40% 80 proof, they were cutting whiskey. Right. I've seen videos like this guy. You take the still water, you put it into the whiskey, reduce it down to 35% alcohol. He's adding like a half a cup of water to his drink before he drinks it. Ugh. I'm like, that is not how you drink whiskey. No. Say it ain't so, Joe. Now it's even said that Pappy Van Winkle, you know that Pappy Van Winkle? Yes. Said that 50% or 100 proof is the perfect proof for, for whiskey. For whiskey, yes. So that would mean that anything above 100, it's too like, hot. It's just too much, Yeah. right? What? When is it that you would add water to whiskey? Why would you even add water to whiskey? Uh, there's reasons to add water to whiskey, which we have talked about briefly. Even adding drops of whiskey. Lots of times you see this with scotches as well. Mm -hmm. You'll add a drop of, of water to it because it dissipates the oils from the immediate sippage. So mm -hmm. you won't be overpowered by it. Uh, and so it opens what we call opening up the flavor. And we want to add more water to whiskey. Yes. The reason you might do this is because you're going to have a cast strength of barrel proof. Yeah. So those are really high alcohol percentages. Yes. Usually in the over 100. So 120s, 130s. Hell, we've seen some lately. They're almost at the max of a one, I was like 160 for bourbon. Can't I go past that. It goes crazy. Now, to be fair, and this needs to be just mentioned, you know, typically you're when you add water, it's like kind of cutting the the overall extreme of the of the alcohol. But there has been cases that we've tried that adding a little bit of water actually uh, consolidates the alcohols and even seems to make it even stronger. So let's let's talk about that. It's what, a hit or miss. What's happening when you add water to whiskey? Whiskey is good proofing water. It could do A, like you're saying, it makes whiskey taste stronger. Yep. Or B, it can really dummy down the whiskey to a point where you almost can't taste the whiskey anymore. That's why if you go to a fancy, uh, I call it a fancy, <laughs> a, a bar that kind of knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They have a big tasting bar. They will give you a dropper, a water, a water cup and a dropper so that you can limit how much you put in and out of your whiskey. That's right. And, and because it can go both ways, which mm -hmm. doesn't seem like it would, but like we said, he goes both ways. No, 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 with no. The, I, with the No, no. Don't put that out there in the internet. Keep that in here. <laughs> what? So, Bear in mind. <laughs> you said that. Bear in mind. You said that. All right. So, so like Okay, saying, so there's a lot going on in yes. a whiskey. Whiskey's got sugars, it's got phenol. <laughs> yeah, no, it's got lactones and <laughs> esters and lactones and, and all those things going on in there. So when you put water Niners. <laughs> when you're putting water in there, it's it's causing all that oil, all those chemicals to kind of rush to the top. Yeah. The the oily yeah. that whiskey is, it's going to push those oils, all those chemicals to the top. So when you take that next drink, it literally is going to be like It's oh, going to be different. It ratchets up quite a bit, right? Yeah. It can do the opposite if it's not as an oily, chemically, yeah. you know, thing it going on. It can push on. those away. And then you don't really taste anything. Yeah. So it, that kind of happens. So how do you add water to whiskey? <laughs> You're gonna One drop water. at a time. That's how you do it. That's right. Because what happens is if you do too much, yes. then you're going to jack it up and miss what you're trying to get to. So like I say, you have 138 proof whiskey. Yes. You don't want to pour in half a glass of water into that. You don't. <laughs> you don't do that. You no. would get something like a dropper and you want to take just a little bit yeah. and go Luke. Because that is a significant 
change. That's a lot of change. Now That's what you, a lot. It, we can show you, you see it, but it, it, you can see it chemically moving around at the top of that whiskey. When you do that, don't drop it in there and just go. Let it sit for like a minute. Yeah, give it a second. Give it time for that reaction to... But it's one of those things like it's fun in a sense of because you're gonna have a different drinking experience while you do this. And with one drop, when you drink it, now your whiskey is returned back to a original uh, of how it was before it, the it water could, was added. It, it could. I mean, and here's, a, here's yeah. the thing is like, we're not even talking about how temperature of water affects it. Types of water that affect it. I mean, if you're putting in like a spring water, a of tap course. water, yeah. a purified water, a distilled water, any of that can change that flavor of that whiskey completely different from yeah. the other. So even, even though water doesn't add flavor to whiskey, it can change the composition of the chemicals in that whiskey to right. make it taste a little different. Yeah, of course. Now, you might want to close your ears on this one, but experts say that you should add water one in one. So one part whiskey, one part water. Well, that's because Pappy said <laughs> that the bourbon's supposed to be 50%. That's, I mean, come on, what are we talking about? That's exactly what he just said. Pretty much. So <laughs> now here, here's the deal. So today, whiskey is at the highest demand it has ever been. Sure. And because of that, we're getting things like barrel proofs and cast strengths and barrel strengths. Yeah. And then people are like, you know, that whiskey's just, it's just too much. I'm just gonna go back to this, whatever that might be. What they're doing is giving you the opportunity to become the blender, the yeah. master distiller at your home. You could. So you can take like a cast strength or a very high proof whiskey. So let's say like this Booker's. Yes. This is a 63.65%, it's 127.3. Some people might consider this a little too hot. Some do, I don't. <laughs> and some people may consider this to be just right. But what you could do is something like this is you can decide what your proof palette, your perfect proof is. So I say we take some of this Booker's. Okay. And we're gonna kind of proof it down. Okay, let's And do see it. what this does to it. Water sucks. So let's try Booker's, shall we? Okay, let's try this Booker's neat, right? Neat. We already know what it tastes like. Oh my God. This is, uh, <laughs> Do you smell the berries coming out of that? I, <laughs> <laughs> I smell wonder. <laughs> I wonder what it's gonna taste like here in a minute. I know, let's, try, let's go ahead and drink this. Okay, so that, that's awesome. Let's say it was too hot. <laughs> oh, ow, it burns. What can I do? So we'll take a drop, okay? So we'll go uh, one, two. All right, two drops. One, two. Two drops, that's it. Just two drops of water. Yeah. We'll let that sit. You can kind of see looking at it, it's kind of pushy. You can almost see the oils swirling around in there. Smell is not as sharp. It's a little less, right? Yeah. Even with those couple drops. So you want to let it sit there, let it acclimate. Now, you don't want to, really. I don't really want to, I just kind of want to drink some more of it. But to prove the point. One minute. 37 seconds later. Okay, it's good. It's been That's one good. minute and we'll just pretend. One minute later. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I brought the woodsiness of it out more. Oh, hands down. And raise the heat just a slight little bit. Maybe a on the on the front of the tongue. Yep. Not as right, far right. as on the front. Not on the hug, but let's say you get to this point, you're like it's still a little too much. You would add just another maybe drop or two, let it sit again for a few more of minutes. Of course. Yeah. Until you get to what they call the perfect proof. For Which you. is how it came out of the bottle to begin with. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is uh, is we don't actually do any kind of like. Uh, we're not really make fun of people for how they drink their whiskey. You don't make really fun of people how they drink their because, whiskey. That's just, you're, you're just a jerk. Because one of the things that we do know is like when you see like them putting the big large ice cubes or balls. That's exactly right. It's, it's a good. hard frozen ice. It releases the water at a very small moment, but mm -hmm. it does give you. Because you'll notice if you don't drink it fast enough, by the time you get down to that last bit, it's almost, almost doesn't taste like whiskey yeah. anymore. And it's not whiskey anymore. At that point, it's probably 20% yeah. whiskey and but you know, 80% water. the fun part with whiskey is that if you just take your time, you're not just trying to chug it, you can have a different experience nearly every sip based on things like, you know, and that's the plus water. Thing, and that's the plus thing with these cast yeah. drinks is that opens that door even more. So mm -hmm. now you can really experience whiskey at its full potential when you're kind of playing around with all those flavor palettes. Because like, for instance, this is 120 plus proof. By the time, by if you if you do this uh, drop of water over four different sips, 
Yeah. It's significantly going to be different. And you've had different experience the whole way through. On top of that, whiskey is always opening up necessarily when you pour it. So I'll say this much. Yeah. You drink enough of this, you're going to open up. I have to endure. I'm open, I'm open. I'm open. So what about you? Do yeah. you add water to your whiskey? Is that something you like to do? Um, or are you a neat all the way? There's really no right or wrong answer. Actually. No, it's your palate. It is your, what you like to do. Nobody should be telling you how you should drink your whiskey. Because I dare say there's probably more on the rocks than there aren't. Oh, for sure. I mean, and on top of that, we're in a world today where flavored whiskeys are starting to grow so fast that yeah. it's like you can't sit there and bash somebody for liking their whiskey with a little water. Because let's face it, Screwball is pretty good. But, you know, I was looking into this episode yeah. and I was doing some research. There's a thing called a pickleback. You ever heard of that? Unfortunately, I have heard of a pickleback. And it's basically where they take a shot of whiskey and they shoot it and then they take a shot of pickle juice and shoot it. Yeah, and you know what's really even more gross? What? Is that uh, there's different types of pickle juice they use for that too. That's right, it got me thinking. I hate it when he thinks. That maybe if we took some whiskey today, let's say like this Booker's. You take whiskey today and you're gonna try some pickle juice. together, you and I are gonna put pickle juice in whiskey and see what it does to oh, the Oh, not even do a back shot. We're talking no, about- we're putting it in there, baby, all the way in. <laughs> yeah. So let's- Yeah, okay, uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Internally throwing up. Right now. There is something to the idea of you had some whiskey and then you throw a flavor right behind it. Changes things, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Now, and be, be fair, rye does sometimes come off very... <laughs> I'm Pickle Rick! Okay, last night, I had a great cigar and a very good rye whiskey. And? The pairing was beautiful, Okay. for lack of a better word. It was beautiful. You wouldn't have gotten the same experience without both things. That's the same idea of what this fuck ass we're getting ready to do <laughs> is kind of about. Remember when he said that because he's only seen this pickle. He's not seeing the one that's over here. Uh, I, I know it's going to be stupid because it's just the kind of shit he pulls on me. However, oh, you're going to ruin it, aren't you? All right, let's just put a few drops of pickle. I had this big thing I was going to talk about. I, yeah, I, I, keep I, going. No. All I'm saying is, is that's why you do things like chocolate. What? No, they keep going. No, don't mind you do, me. You do chocolates. <laughs> you do uh, things that are different like that. Even like really light teas. You are such a bastard. <laughs> the light teas. Yeah, you're right. Right. Light teas. Yeah, I got you. You do teas. I'm there with you. Basically, we're just killing time because what we're going to do is taste this and see what I say. No. I no, we wouldn't do that. Let's smell it. Actually, I don't hate that. That's not bad, right? <laughs> Y'all heard that here first. Thank God I like pickles. Wait a minute. So let's try this, right? Let's try it. Okay. So bad. <laughs> I might have put more in yours than mine. It's not that bad right now, actually. It's pretty good, actually. Like, you didn't put anything in his, I'm pretty sure. No, I put a couple of drops in mine. Yeah. The chicken skin. I think I just had an aneurysm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, did I mention that I have some hot pickle juice? Oh, why don't we just add that to the horse shit I got in front of me already? <laughs> oh, that's a good Let's idea. Let's do that. Oh, oh man. You wanna smell it? Yeah, I do. That actually smells good. I like that. Ooh, it is spicy. Oh, oh shit, I might have added a little too much. Oh shit, I got Well, that. I'm gonna go run five miles and I'm gonna drink this for recovery. My my Whiskey kind of looks green now. So, uh, let's... <laughs> I don't think, I, obviously, clearly this isn't whiskey anymore. This is a liqueur. Bottoms up. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> Do you think it changed the whiskey chemically? <laughs> There's some chemical changes in that whiskey. <laughs> this is called Epicac. <laughs> In about three minutes, <laughs> all of your tummy <laughs> troubles will be solved. Just uh, have a washcloth and somebody to hold your hair, if you know what I mean. Oh my God, he has a washcloth. <laughs> we just washed the hair. In the meantime, you guys continue to be geeky this week, and we'll see you on Friday for. Hey, damn it, it's getting worse. <laughs>
You don't have anything else to cheers with? <laughs> no, you drink the rest of that pickle juice. I mean, that whiskey. Uh, cheers. cheers. I don't really want to. Do it. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> God, I hate you. You're an asshole. <laughs>